evening, kids. Dr. Freedom here with you. Time for some Dr. News. News from in and around the universe that may or may not affect you, but likely will since there's nothing else going on. The show is not coming back till December. It is not coming back till spring. Oh, but really, it's been a major, major dead zone here lately. And so I haven't really been putting up a whole lot of vids because there's nothing really to talk about other than the bunch of stuff we already knew was going to happen and whatnot. So, but here's something that finally broke. Let's hop into it, shall we? Let's take a look. Okay. Doctor Who is set, Series 10 is apparently set to start filming in May. Now, originally what we heard was April, but yeah, it's now official May. So the boys over there at Radio Free Scar, they're probably jumping up and down, high-fiving each other, going, we called it, we called it. Yeah, you're good for you. Yeah, we're proud of the fact that you called it, but it don't matter. We're still not getting any Doctor Who until December. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll all live through it, you know. Besides, I kind of needed the year off anyway, but. All right. The BBC has yet to identify a replacement for Jenna Coleman, but sources say they are confident they are finding the right person. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Wait. You knew she was leaving. You knew for over a year Jenna Coleman was leaving. And you're telling me that you're not, oh, we're going to go scramble at the last minute. <laughs> oh, God, like a bunch of kids trying to get the essay that's due on Monday, done on Sunday night. You know, after they've sat around and all they gagged all day, you know, that kind of deal. All right, Series 10 will begin filming in May, and this is now official from Radio Times. BBC bosses have decided upon a late spring deadline for the camera to start rolling on Steve Moffat's final series as showrunner, but are yet to choose a new companion. This is got to be bogus. This cannot be real. You cannot tell me they sat here for over a year. They knew full well she was leaving at the end of Series 9. It was definite. It was written in stone. She goes, I'm not doing another one. And, oh, no, we'll, just, oh, 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 we'll fiddle around all year. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we've had some brief talks about it, but we actually haven't chosen someone yet that I know of. And this is what uh, Capaldi said back at the Radio Times covers party. So that's not new. Um, and, of course, once again, they've padded this with a bunch of crap we already had from, once again, the Radio Times cover party. But we did get the fact that it's now official Doctor Who's filming in May. But get ready for laughs, Ahoy. Maisie Williams is saying if Idris Elba basically doesn't take it to be the first black doctor, she's more than willing to step up. Once again, this is just malarkey. It's not going to happen. There's no way they'd pay her enough to get off Game of Thrones. All right. Could there, get ready for laughs, Ahoy. Now, Moffat, of course, finally officially received his OBE earlier this week. I think it was on the 4th. Now, we all knew that was coming for like the last six or seven months. But then you add on to the fact that they said, all right, get ready for this. This is going to make you die laughing. Ahead of me this year, I have 14 Doctor Who and three Sherlock films. So the last thing I'm doing is contemplating work beyond that. But then the day is coming when I'll have to. All right, get ready for this. this is, could we be a special Doctor Who episode heading our way? Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Let's go to the whiteboard, shall we? Give me a second here. All right, look, Christmas 2016, you're getting one Christmas special. You're getting 12 regular episodes, and you're getting a Christmas special in 2017. That equals 14. Duh! Oh, my gosh. What's going on? It's just gotten bananas. So, no, you're not getting a special episode unless they throw in some extra minisodes. He has commented the effect that he wants to try to get a few extra things in for this year. But, no, 14 episodes means, as I told you, you're getting a Christmas special this year, Christmas special next year, and 12 intervening episodes. Bam, there's your 14. But I've seen that pop up all over the place now. Can't anyone do simple math anymore? Oh, my goodness. Okay, Jenny Cole, to me, all right, <laughs> sorry conversation with jenny colgan and she has become a force of nature in doctor who in audio and whatnot so you may want to sit down and have a little read through this it's just a nice little interview she did with this particular site um i think you'll enjoy it all right kasturbus all right matt smith i'm forever grateful to the world of doctor who yeah just try getting his autograph for free see how far that goes it's not that I'm you know, I, I did enjoy Matt Smith's performance. He was one of them rare doctors who had me from the very first episode. What, what, what gets me is people talking crap about Capaldi. You hear this guy never once 
signed autog- signed autographs on set. Never once gave autographs for free. Never once did, you know, I don't know how many selfies he put out. If you have any you got for free, I'd like to see it. But I didn't see him doing a whole lot on set. Capaldi does it all the time, but everybody's claiming he's hated. So this is kind of his thing if you want to go take a look at it. He, but he, uh, like I said, I don't want to stop on him because I really enjoyed Matt Smith's Doctor. I really did. But at the same time, he is grateful to the world of Doctor Who. Yeah, I just hope that Pride and Prejudice and Zombie Things does well. I, or I really hope it does. How's that Terminator sequel going? Huh? No. All right. Share the Orange tonight. Dr. Chris Reckleston fronts the latest campaign from Alzheimer's Research UK. Share the Orange. And this project features stop motion animation from the award winning studio Ardman to demonstrate how the disease that, that causes the disease, sorry, the diseases that cause dementia most commonly cause Alzheimer's physically attacking the brain. Although the damage is caused by the disease, the brain of a person with Alzheimer's can weigh around 140 grams less than a healthy brain, about the weight of an orange. The Eccleston, whose father Ronnie died with, a va- with vascular dementia following a 14-year battle with the disease, had this to say on the following, and here's a nice little video to go with it. And I really thought you folks, you know, especially the fans of Eccleston, would appreciate going to take a look at that. So once again, you had a whole crap load of websites who went out. Moffat said, I got 14 episodes to film ahead of me. Automatically started jumping them down going, oh, we're going to get specials. And meanwhile, they're forgetting that you've also got two Christmas specials between now and the time he exits. And so you got your 12. I'm not going to go into the whiteboard again. It's depressing. Makes me feel like a demented Dr. House. But like I said, I'm going to keep dropping reports here and there. Like I said, I've been feeling kind of down really because I haven't because I'm used to doing this every day. But I don't want to bombard you with garbage that, you know, doesn't really affect anything. So I will say that. Well, until next time, kitties, I'm going to get on out of here. So take care, Tata. Enjoy the rest of your night day. Later, folks. See you on the flip side.